this video, I'm going to go over how to place and change the eye parts that you put into an assembly. So here I have open a brand new assembly file, and if we look at the model browser, you can see I don't have anything in here yet. So I'm going to start by clicking on the place button on my assemble tab. So it's going to ask me to go find the part that I want to bring in, and I already have all of my eye parts created, so I'm just going to go into my folder with my eye parts. Here they are. So we'll start by just bringing in the bases. So I'm going to grab my left hand base. So I'm going to click on open and you'll notice that it's a little bit different than bringing in just a regular part file. You're going to get this little pop up here saying place standard I part. Now the first tab here just has all of the parameters and the information about this particular one that I'm bringing in. We can go to the second tab over here and it's got information about all of the um, sorry, the, the rest of the parts, I should say. So not just the three here, but if your I part had four or five or six, it would have them all listed here. And then the last tab here called table, this is the one you want to look at. So the table is where you choose which I part you're bringing in or which I part member you're bringing in. So right now we can see that my number one here, left hand base 01, TC113-07, this is the one that's selected and this is currently the one on my screen. Now, if I wanted dash, uh, TC213-07, I would just select it in the chart here and you can see it update on my screen. Same thing for part three. So you just choose which of the members listed here you want to show up in this assembly. I'm going to choose 113-07 and click OK. So it places that part on my screen and I'm going to dismiss this because I only want the one part for right now. And now I can place on my joints and my constraints and work with this part as I would with a typical part in my eye assembly. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one more time. So I click on place, I go find my part file because I clearly did not make a project for this, which I should have. So I have to go find it. I'm going to grab my right hand base this time. Again, it's an eye part, so it's going to open up this little table. I go to the third tab over called table and I choose which of the three parts I want to bring in. Now, this first assembly here, I'm doing it all with my 113 parts. So I go ahead, I place one, op or one part on my screen, and then I dismiss that table. So now these parts are just floating in my assembly, and I can go ahead and place my joints and my constraints like I typically would. Now, let's say I brought in the wrong part here. Maybe I brought in 113, but I meant to bring in 213. Rather than delete this and have to re-bring in another part, what I can do is I can find it in my model browser here. I can expand the part here and see the option for table. We can right-click on table, and there, there's an option there for changing the component. So I'm going to go ahead and change component, and then jump over to my table tab, and let's say I instead want part 3. So I could grab part 3, click OK. And you'll notice, look at the size comparison here, you'll notice that this one is updated now, and this is now TC313 instead of TC113. So you can actually change which part, or sorry, which member of your I part you've brought into your assembly without having to delete and um, replace them in here. So that's how we place our I parts into our assembly here. And then after this, we just constrain it like we typically would.